What's up, everybody? Jenny John with a brand new episode of the Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough. I started this yesterday. So I absolutely loved what uh, was going on in the Hogwarts Legacy yesterday. Yeah, that was pretty dang good. Wait, no. The stream showing up on my YouTube. Show the stream I should show that. Hogwarts Legacy, last time I finally got into Hogwarts, and now time to start classes, it's our first day of school. So I believe this is where my classes are. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. A 
skill. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest student start us off? Hmm? Huh? Why me? I always gotta go first. <clears throat> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at Accio at a possible moment. Very good! Don't lose your composure! Excellent, good. Stay focused. That's it. Oh, I should have gotten now. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. Senor competing contest. Accio. Oh, I didn't know how to do that. Fuck. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all.
Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You Fuck took you. the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. I but it never much. seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. How do I find wand magic wand? to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. So what's I the point of having a admit, wand? However, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. A word, you know if you would. Humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Samantha Dale. 
Hello. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Hogsmeade's no London, mind you. Off on another Our adventure, are we? Join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of this, the Minister for Magic was Albert Booth. Oh, what is it? Oh, I'll find that Goodbyes, I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister of Boot or the Minister of Flack? Open. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and it says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore.
quest begin. See what this class is about. <coughs> this is the uh, medic of the dark arts. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards Levioso. more times than I care to remember. Could they use that a lot in the Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. <coughs> Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. Oh, this. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Prince. So, now, the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. I can for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. I've got a heroid. Levioso. I'll How's the view? I forgot how do I block? I forgot. I, I forgot how to block. How perceptive. How the fuck do I block? I forgot. How do to throw your opponent off guard? Rather good at this, aren't you? How do I block? This should be easy. You're good. How perceptive. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Why the fuck can't I block? Where's the fucking controls? I forgot how to block.
Where the fuck do I find the controls on this thing? Oh, no. Remember the lesson. Oh, Levioso is quite Why the fuck can't I remember how to block? I gotta look it up, I forgot. How do I reflect in Hogwarts Legacy? How do I put up a shield in Hogwarts Legacy? How do I find that screen? I can't remember how to fucking block for some goddamn reason. This should be easy. <laughs> How's the view? Maybe if I go to settings and then go down to get here's the controls. All right, uh, aim L2. Ah, it's triangle. That's the button. I swear to God it was like L1 or something before. Huh. There we go. Let me Nothing lucky about it. I know. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Huh, always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel.
In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Oh. I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Alright, let's see what other kind of quests I got in here. Hmm. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professor well, to get no information out of me. Professor Wiggs the homie. Assignments. My professor face the homie. Cal, what are you doing? What? More work? <laughs> that sounds like me in school when I was in high school. More work? I don't want to do any more. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. 
Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. I think Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. She seems a She's bit better when it comes to explaining stuff. Most talented students, and she knows the area. She'll know, keep you well clear of any of Victor Natty. Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. I mean, I, I like Sebastian too, though. I like Professor both, Ronan's but Daddy seems more informational when it comes no to stuff to than Sebastian. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. Can I uh, just have a regular beer? But otherwise, we'll do the trick. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary here, tasks here. to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Lumos. Why don't I just do that? Revelio. Lumos. Revelio.
Right, this must be a right here. I don't see a flying page near the broken statue. That's the problem. Put the flying page next to the broken statue, but I don't see Let it. Let Oh, I see it. Got it. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? Hey, girl. Uh, Zenobia Nuke, who's this bitch? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My godstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story of the terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Cat, get down. I'll do that later at a later day. I'm gonna do the the main story missions right now. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh. Huh. 
Oh, it uh, allows me to fix things. Oh, like that broken statue. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Let's try it out. Repair. Repair. done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I'll do the uh, gobstone missions real quick. I don't think it should be that hard. It's literally just searching for some goddamn stones. Dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Shut up, bitch. No one cares. I don't really like that girl, to be honest. She's kind of annoying. Wait, why don't I just do the whole teleporting thing? So... I said I was going to do the uh, gobstone quests. Which happens to be that way. Where am I? Oh, I think I'm right here. Fork.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. All right, it's high places, high places. Hmm. Oh, that's one of them. Akia. Akia. One of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I think I'm getting the hang of this whole uh, magic shit. Stairs going up the stairs, going up the stairs. I'm I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I know. Keep an eye on, keep an eye on high places. Got it. Hmm. How did she even get him up in these places? Yeah. That's what I don't understand. But, yeah. You yeah, can't imagine that? how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Shut up, bitch. Protego. Oh, there's another gob sound. Sweet. Another gob stone. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Finding these gobstones right now. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Man, this game could be very addicting, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I might get addicted to this game. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones.
What are you up to now? <laughs> Boy, nobody. No, I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah, I'm playing the new Hogwarts Legacy. No, it's too early. It's only 4:30. Like two. Where the fuck is this bullshit? Ori, what are you doing? Fuck is this thing? What? Yeah. Where is the fuck? Where is it? I'm not seeing the gold stone anywhere. Resource indeed, your ah, good there guide. it is. I'm most pleased to be included. Found it. Is that, is that my hole? The last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Off on another adventure, are we? You've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. 
I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. <laughs> well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? No. Oh, may I just say no? Of course. Oh, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I should probably uh, save what I've accomplished so far. I've accomplished quite a bit. Um, save. Matty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I feel like Sebastian would have been a lot more fun to hang out with, though. Maybe I should have picked Sebastian. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. 
but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I find its location a little unfamiliar. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? This girl likes to talk less for sure. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> Oh, Mr. Moon, a Debbie guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Oh my god, man. I mean, this is, this is stupid. Can we just get a move on? Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to now. see what you will do with a wand of your own. 
You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore well, a little as well. Who the previous owned Experience by who that shall not be place. named. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I can get a haircut here. Oh, I can buy a broom. I want to buy a broom. All right, well, but first I gotta buy a wand. Buy a wand. I'll be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll take it. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. So I got a wand. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today.
All tombs and scrolls right here. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Come on, let me in there, you asshole. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. How, so how do I go to the town anytime I want? How's that a thing? Oh, yeah. This is right around animals wandering up there. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we 
should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair damages. I mean, I can do that with the whole uh, repair. repair stuff.
Repair. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? We're up still. Plenty yeah, of perusal today. Take your time. I was about to get off soon. I'm playing the new Hogwarts Legacy. What are you doing, Swiggy? I see that. Pretty fun game, I'm not gonna lie. What's the difference between the two roads? Look the exact same. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to... Is it any food? Oh, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's a pretty good game. I'm off on Thursday this week. Are you actually going to be on the game on Thursday? Assuming it is not too busy, I, you I might even need to I was waiting for Thursday if I'm going to play this or am I trying to beat God of War. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. <sighs> oh, you said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no... Thursday, I'll be home around three. Cool. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, 
single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, that's fine, man. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. I doubt that. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? Oh, there's a lot. I promise to tell you everything. Shut up, bitch. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Yeah, I gotta perform Professor Fig. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I don't want to talk to her outside. I just want to get back to the castle, get my classes, get my own shit. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Oh, that's how Hogwarts and World Map. That's how I can travel between locations. Now that makes sense. All right, so I can go back there. I guess this means I gotta go there. Fast travel. Forgot how to fast travel. Fast travel, bitch. I'll talk to you later. Got to go to work. So it's 5 it's not like 5 oh yeah you gotta you go early I forgot I was gonna say it's only like 520 man you get up early for work shit So far, I am very much enjoying this game. This is my bedroom. Look at the owl. Do I get a pet owl? I'll call you. Who? Got to be at for six because of training. Yeah, when, when you finally done that training, you can finally start playing the game at night, figure. Let's see what Professor Fig wants. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the lockets. We found at Scringotts. What the fuck that means? It's like I go see this old man. Like Professor Fig, I'll do that next time. Save game. So far, I very much have enjoyed this game. Let's 
to be all for the, for the stream for today. Get ready to hit the hay.